Welcome back to our Leadership 2 assignment. In part 2 we will describe how we intend to develop the implementation of our plan and how we lead, will lead the stakeholders through the milestones while relating this to current research, policy and guidelines. Implementation, plan and milestones. We have identified these basic skills as the success criteria for our program, which will be the core focus of our teaching and learning. These outcomes are the result of the conversations we have had with staff about their frustrations with using digital tools. Our six month plan identifies how and when we will target our stakeholders and the subgroups that will diffuse our innovation most effectively. It helps us identify how and when we will be incorporating leadership theories and developing 21st century skills throughout the process. In the first month, our aim is to provide professional development to the staff with a design thinking inquiry process in order to meet the needs of different areas of the school. We have initiated this already by asking how might we questions of our team for the purposes of this assignment. From the DTI process, we aim to establish the individual area of need for other staff members. The second and third months will involve working with the early adopters and early majority to establish and upskill the selected tech group. As the early adopters, the tech group will be valuable peer tutors to the majority. In turn, all subsequent groups will encourage the laggards to extend their use and fluency of Google skills. At this point, we will provide feedback. Gamification of the process will help to motivate and multiply the effect of our change initiative. We intend to use Class Dojo to do this, assigning positive points values to tasks that demonstrate achievement of G Suite and collaborative skills. For example, some tasks may be group challenges which require all members to contribute in order for maximum points achievement. During the third and fourth months, we will begin to offer Google Tech workshops called Tech Happy Hour for the Far Now. Community will be invited to monthly evenings where students showcase their learning and pass on information to their audience. These evenings will also be used to educate parents on the concept of a flipped classroom and address questions. In the fifth month, we will revisit with the staff to see the outcomes of their DTI process from earlier in the implementation. Feedback from staff will be done through SurveyMonkey. We believe that gamification of the process will accelerate the active participation of the laggards, early majority and subsequent groups. Finally, in month six, we will reflect, critique and evaluate the implementation of our change initiative with staff, students and whanau. Our intention throughout is to communicate updates on the program and other information during the six month process to the stakeholders. Outcomes of this process are in line with our school policy and procedures. Firstly, students must limewise their accounts to enable them to explore the internet safely. It is essential that all students have digital skills in order for this to happen. In addition to being able to access their Google account at CPS, we have developed a school computer code of conduct. Kashmir Primary is part of a cluster of around a thousand schools involved in new pedagogies for deep learning, MPDL. And an integral part of this is students being able to leverage digital tools and collaborate and therefore apply these to their learning. Within the programme of teaching, we will be providing tasks that rely on individuals to work interdependently with others in order to gain points and level up. This will incorporate expert students teaching their peers to complete skills-based challenges and thus developing collaborative skills and distributing leadership amongst the students. This is also in line with the MOE vision for lifelong learners in a connected world, which states that it is a highly connected system that equips students with skills for the future, fosters students' identity, language and culture, and prepares students to participate as successful citizens in the 21st century. This initiative aims to have staff, students and parents work collaboratively and create a common understanding of the skills required for students to use digital tools effectively. We have high hopes and visions of using G Suite to facilitate the development of higher order 21st century skills. Please enjoy this list of sources for our presentation. Thank you for watching our Leadership 2 assignment. using Powtoon.